What is up guys, welcome back to another guide video and today I'll be updating my old rank 30 Shelly guide. You may be asking why would I want to update a guide video and it is because there is a Shelly apocalypse right now and it is the same as the mega apocalypse but this is just insane of how much Shelly's I see in solo showdown right now. So now let's get into the video. So let's start off with what Shelly star power and gadget is best for her. So basically I would say it's gonna be Shell Shock and Clay Pigeons. Shell Shock is so underrated and it's really good for Shelly. For star powers, go which one you prefer, but I think Shell Shock is the better star power. Why? Because it's really good and it's really OP for endgame. For example, the other one has Band-Aid and you have Shell Shock, so you can just easily win over the Band-Aid Shelly. If you don't get what I'm saying, I'm basically saying that Shell Shock will give you a better aim than the Shelly will band-aid. For gadgets, I strongly recommend Clay Pigeons. I do not know why you would want to go dash, it is not even that good. Plus, if you combine it with the slowness of Shell Shock, it is going to be overpowered. Alright, so now the gears. Now the gears, there is a lot of gears you can go for Shelly, but the best ones that I like to use is Health and Shield. For certain maps where there are bushes, I would suggest Division Gear, as it is insanely good and underrated as no one is using it, well at least not most of the people that I see. Now you can combine that with speed, but I would suggest like health, or you can either go shield. Now maps, there are a lot of good maps for Shelly, but the most one that I would recommend to you guys would be Skull Creek, it is amazing and really good for Shelly, and there are lots of Shelly's playing it so you can team up against other like tanks. Okay, so here are the rest of the maps where you can play Shelly in, but my number one suggestion would be playing in Skull Creek. Now, before we go further, let's talk about skins. Now, I think skins is an important part of the gameplay that you play. Now, you may be thinking that I'm crazy, but this is my opinion and just hear me out. Okay, now I will explain this as fast as I can so don't waste your time. If you want to backstab, go Classic Shelly. If you do not want to backstab and just play casual or whatever you want to do, go any other skin. Now, if you're asking me why, it's because that skin is the only skin that I see people wear for Shelly. Now that that is out of the way, let's get into the fun part. And now, I'll tell you tips and tricks for Shelly. First thing I would like to say, and just please listen to me, because I always make this mistake, and I still make this mistake to this day, I just don't know why I do it. It's do not rush for cubes at the beginning of the game. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You will literally die. You will get cornered. Everything. Just please don't do that. Because I always do that mistake. The second thing I'd like to mention is that in my old guide, I guys told you to play it safe with Shelly. Now, I would not suggest that as much. Why? It's because playing showdown before and playing showdown now is a lot different. Before, camping was no problem. If you camp now, you're in trouble. And it is because team leaders will start teaming up and they'll start scouting the whole area looking for people that are camping. So if you are camping, you're gonna be the enemy's target. So yeah, that's why camping is not that good for Shelly. Unless you're playing a map where people specifically pick tanks. And that's where you can camp because they can't really reach you or shoot you. Because they'll have to come to you and you'll just blast them. The third thing I'd like to say is do not think you're invincible because you are a Shelly. You have to be cautious at all times, and I mean it. Now, I have to say, is that people in Soul Showdown, they don't care what they're doing, and some of them, they don't know what they're doing, and I don't know why, or they get like jealous or something, and emotions play a lot into their gameplay, which I do not like at all. For example, you start of the match, you spawn in, and the crow spawns beside you. And then you're just, you just took his cube, for example, like, he's there, and you go and take his cube. Yeah, no harm. Well, that girl will be mad and he will literally later on in the game, if he sees you, this guy will target you. It doesn't matter if there's a power 8 Shelly with 9 power cubes and has like, I don't know, like 1 HP. He will target you that you have like full health. He won't care about the Shelly with 9 power cubes. So just a reminder, be friendly with the guy you spawn with and later on. And yeah, he can backstab you later on, but it's still better to be friendly and have him not shoot you later on or target you specifically because of the emotions of his anger. Now, for the fourth tip, it is really simple, it's just to keep your distance between Shelly's. Now, I'm telling you, if a Shelly comes close to you, she either wants to backstab and she will backstab you. Like, it is like really low chance that you will get a Shelly, which she'll be like, oh yeah, I won't backstab you. 
All right, so for this tip, I don't know if I should count it as tip number five because I don't know if I'm correct, so I will not count it as tip number five. All right, so basically, if you are not in the region NA and you do not see shellies or like tanks, then I would suggest playing at night when NA plays because in NA there's crazy amounts of tanks and like shellies, primos, bulls, all the tanks. You can you can literally see it all. Why I'm telling you this? It is because I noticed at night I can grind long range shooters because there's just so much of them at night and there's barely of them in the morning. All right, now I'll tell you some strategies that brawlers use against Shelly. Let's talk about Edgar. So Edgar, what he does is he'll come up to you and he'll super. So you waste all your shots and your super and then you won't have anything to defend yourself against the Edgar. So buzzes, as I was talking before, some people will literally start rushing you, so a buzz, if he does stun you, he can kill you if you don't have your super or if you're not close to your super, so be careful of buzzes at the same time. Now wolf primos, you want to be careful because they can also try jibbing you like the Edgar, so be careful with primos at the same time. Alright, Surge. Believe it or not, if you do have the slow star power, it is super easy to kill Surge, like I am not kidding, use your um, super and then gadget, easy, and then he's dead. Well, I guess you can say that most long range shooters will counter you, but now Shelly got the speed boost, so it's really easily to just dodge. With that buff, that buff is just insane and good. That's why Shelly's meta right now, not gonna lie. All right, I don't really know any more counters that Brawlers counter Shelly. Maybe like Fang, but like you have to be low for it to go, cause if he just goes, then boom, he will be dead. I'd like to mention is if you are in a bush, always keep your super like active. So activate your super, do not like just camp in the bush, but have your super ready just in case there's like a buzz watching you for his uh, gadget and just in case he tries to super you, you can easily just make him miss. Same as goes for like primos, but like yeah, primos gonna jump on you, but the thing is you're gonna scare them if they do see you have that activated, if they see you somehow. I just remembered something, do not let primos charge on you, I'm telling you, you're gonna end up with a disaster, because if a primo tries charging on you, that means he's crazy and wants to backstab you, because if you were a primo, would you wanna like try to charge on a shelly? Like I would not if I was a primo for example, so do not let primos charge on you, if they do, just try to kill them or something, because they are planning to backstab you. Alright, now I'm going to be talking about two more things, and it is endgame and at the beginning of the match which i forgot to mention before so let's start with what i forgot to say and it is when you spawn in and yeah you're gonna try to be friendly but you can also backstab at the beginning of the round and you can be that guy that everyone hates which backstabs at the beginning of the round now i'm warning you if you do not want to do this then don't do this because you might be getting chased after if you fail but basically if the guy is on a box and you are on a box and you don't waste your ammo and that guy wastes the ammo so you count how much ammo he wasted you can go ahead and try to kill him if you know he wasted all his ammo that is why you only waste one ammo at a time when you're collecting boxes and you don't waste all three so you don't get killed at the beginning of the round all right now for the last part of the video which is the end game so people play different styles for end games and i don't really like to tell you which one you should play because there is not a like oh you should do this one because this one is the best one because different strategies work for different stuff so pick which one you like the best and you can even combine them or whatever so the first strategy i'm going to tell you guys is basically to make people forget about you and by doing this you can get number one and what you do is basically when you see a bush you just go inside and just hide for the rest of the like any game whatever they're doing but make sure it's when lots of people are close. So just in case like, you know, when the, the smoke is like out of the range and you start camping, they're gonna target you. So you don't want that. So you wanna do it when the smoke closes most of the map and you can just hide peacefully. Now the second strategy I'd like to tell you guys is being aggressive slash start a chain reaction. And I actually do like this method, but it depends on you. And how this works is basically when the storm comes in and lots of people are inside, you wanna be the one who starts attacking someone and when you attack someone that's going to create a chain reaction if you do that you want to be a little bit inside of the non-storm area and then after that you just want to go in the storm so you don't get attacked now the last strategy i want to tell you guys is basically you want to pick a corner and just stand there basically everyone does this and you're basically doing what everyone else does but let me just give you a tip basically if there are like four corners already taken you would want to go to the one which is more safer. For example, 
there's a corner with Shelly and a corner with Primo. You'd want to go to the corner with Primo because you can easily backstab him. And like if you go to Shelly, there's more risk because you don't know who's going to backstab first. And if you do backstab first, sometimes it's going to create chaos. So yeah, and this is basically the guide. And thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy this content, then please subscribe. That will be really appreciated. If you didn't, then no problem. You can just leave the video. But if I did miss anything, then just say it in the comments. And if it's really good, I might just ping you.